Hey, this your homegirl? Oh, oh. Yeah, she did that. Oh. There's a lot of reasons why people car get repo. In this first video, guys, this girl is trying to rationalize why she pays a thousand dollars a month for her car. I told you guys about my older sister that has her car since high school, right? Well, I pay a thousand dollars for my car payment every month, but <laughs> in that one thousand dollars is included any repairs, any oil changes, anything is covered for me for a lifetime, right? So my sister's car breaks down, if not every month, at least every two months, and she's having to pay for repairs every single time, right? So that adds up if you think about it. So she just called me right now and she said, I'm turning in, I'm trading in my new, my old cars for new cars because they're just breaking down on me. And literally that's my point exactly. I rather pay a thousand dollars a month knowing that all my repairs are gonna be covered in case anything were to happen, rather than my car constantly breaking down. I'm sure if she were to add up all the repairs that she's paid for her car in the past 10, 15 years, it's gonna be way more over than if she was paying a thousand a month. So when you think about it, I don't know about that, guys. Um, I mean, my car note is not a thousand dollars. I mean, I got a twenty three three hundred C, but it doesn't cover any kind of breakdown. I don't know what kind of payment she got where a thousand dollars a month is gonna cover anything that breaks on her car. I mean, I guess she's saying because her car is under warranty. I'm assuming that's what she means. A thousand dollar car payment is not that bad. Does it mean that she or anyone else needs to get a high bougie car, or whatever, as long as it's a reliable car, which I already know that's what she's going to do. She's probably not going to get like a brand new car off a lot, but a new good one, which is totally fine. As long as it's reliable and it's not costing you more maintenance than to have a new car. I mean, at this point, guys, I mean, all you really doing now is damaging the car. Even if you think, because you can't get your car back out this repo. Only thing he's doing now is damaging the car more. And when he get it back, he's going to have to pay for it to be fixed. So you're not paying your car note. And now you got to get the car fixed when you get it back. You're just putting yourself more and more behind the eight ball. This is I'm tripping. Man. I mean, at this point, he got you. It's over. That, that sounds like a V6, too. That's not like that's a Hemi. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, shit. Straight on fire. Wow. She didn't want us to have it, so she straight burnt this motherfucker. Look. Like, actively on fire. See, that's stupid right there. From what I understand, they're going to try to sell the car once they repo it. So if you damage the car, that means they're going to get less for it when they try to sell it. So you still going to owe for the money. Now you're going to owe even more. This is just crazy. People just do stupid stuff, bro. Repo gone wrong cops eventually show up at the end. <laughs> repo gone wrong. <laughs> Are they in the middle? Are they fighting? <laughs> this man was fighting. This man, it ain't that serious. Oh! Oh, they pulled his pants on like, what's up? Oh, he ain't, he ain't going. Man, he's like, yeah, y'all ain't taking my phone. That's crazy. He's in a fight with that. Man, they're holding up traffic and everything. <laughs> Come on, get out of the car. 
Just let it go, man. It's just a car. You can recover. So there is, guys, another episode of the repos gone wrong. <laughs> My thing is this, man. If you you know you ain't paid your car note, and it's been months, and you know you're looking for it, man, just expect it to be repo. Ain't no point. And fighting the repo man, trying to get in your car and drive all. They're going to eventually get it anyway. Leave your comments, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe. Appreciate y'all watching. If you like these videos, man, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next one.